against humanity. Every year, thousands of people fall into the hands of traffickers, and the problem continues to grow across the world and here at home. And joining us this morning to talk about the issue of human trafficking and an event happening today to fight the problem, Brendan Oliver from Women of Vision. Good to have you. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so define human trafficking for us. How does it happen? Who is targeted? How are they, you know, coerced into a life of crime, and what happens to them? I think you said it. It is a crime of humanity. Um, it is the legal trade of, you know, um, children, men, women for sex, commercial sex, but there's also the forced labor. And we're seeing girls as young as 12. The FBI recent report was that girls as young as 12 are being coerced into this lifestyle. They use, you know, uh, manipulation, abuse, forms of m not only physical, but mental abuse to keep them captive. And you were saying during the commercial break that they're groomed. Yes, it's very much a grooming process in that these men, we've heard stories where men will take six months to a year to come up alongside a young girl um, to convince her that he cares about her, he loves her, he can, t you know, he may buy her things starting out before he asks her to actually commit a sexual act for him for money. And then once that starts to take place, the shame, the abuse, begins and it becomes a whole different relationship. I do think it's still difficult for people to understand or even fathom that this happens here. I think people still associate it as a global issue that happens overseas, but not only when I say here do I mean in the United States, but here in federal way. Tell us about Danica Child. So Danica, in 2007, uh, she was 17 at the time, was on her way to meet her parents, her mother, her sisters to go shopping for Christmas and she simply never showed up. It has been over five years and no one has heard a word from Danica. When the detectives were able to find her cell phone, they, were un they uncovered messages that um, showed she was involved in prostitution and they're convinced that she was abducted into a ring of prostitution. So. As the FBI report states, it's any town USA. It's not just federal way. They're seeing a growth in this um, form of industry, so to speak, because it's very lucrative. How do we change this? I mean, is, is there a way to attack the issue? Do we need to change our mindset about human trafficking in general? Does, does law enforcement need to change the way they look at it? I mean, th these are, are victims that are committing criminal acts. Great question. The Federal Coalition Against Trafficking is, is a group that I'm involved with, and it really is creating awareness. Um, the mindset that these young girls were criminals and boys um, ha has really changed, and we're seeing that really within our own law enforcement in federal way that they are victims. They are being coerced and manipulated and forced very much, like I said, like the domestic violence wheel. So I, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, I know that you've talked a lot about it's all about prevention before it happens, trying to trying to do something in that realm. So tell us about the event tonight and, and how people can help. We're very fortunate we have a great mayor and police chief that are willing to support this issue, um, gather around. So we have a proclamation tonight that will be signed by our mayor and presented to the coalition, as well as the strategic plan by the Federal Police Department, how they hope to combat in 2013, and three dynamic speakers that we're really looking forward to hearing from. And on the 25th, the organization you work with, World Vision, hosting a training session. What's, what's the focus there? So Deceptions is a training program out of Vancouver, Washington, and it is designed to be presented in three classroom settings where we educate from middle to high school students on the awareness of child luring, um, sex trafficking, as well as just internet dangers, how that poses an issue as well. So we are hoping to get educators there, also potential trainers that would be willing to go into the schools and work with us. And hopefully prevent more kids from becoming victims Absolutely. in the future. Becoming, yeah, walking down Danica's path. So All right. Really Brenda Oliver with Women of Vision, thank you so much. Good to have you thank this you. morning. And for more information on tonight's forum, you can go to www.fwcat.org. Okay.